Why? From downtown Scranton, a real happening place. If you happen not to live here, it's a dreary, rainy, muggy, humid, wet edition of. Frank the Lunatic Rats! My special guest today, hi special, hi special guest. Hello. My, my special guest today, picking the topic for my rant. And even though I've ranted about this before, looks like I'm gonna have to rant again because the special topic of the day is... Phones. Phones. I guess cell phones. Our special topic of the day. So, this will be like the third, fourth, fifth, whatever rant I've done about it. So here we are again, ranting about phones. You know, uh, cell phones. What pieces of crap they are anymore. They really are. This is, this is how I've come to the conclusion. See, now I have a phone, old phone. Actually a track phone, small little thing. LG makes it. I must have this thing, I don't know, six years? Maybe five years, probably five years. It has dropped so many times from so many things and skidded across the floor and in the driveway onto the rocks and the screen might be a little, you know, scratchy, but still works. Then you have the newer phones. I am totally convinced that these things are designed like, and made like crap now because they know they're gonna break and you're gonna have to buy another one. Gorilla Glass, my ass. I'm sorry, but this courting Gorilla Glass stuff, what a piece of crap. And now they like it to go Gorilla Glass 3 or 4 or something like that. What? crap. First of all, they, they, they should have went back, they should have stood with the whole plasticky type of stuff that they had before on the phones. That's for starters. I'm sure there's a way to do a digitizer with a plastic overlay on it. This Gorilla, gorilla Glass, just to show you, I have a phone. Um, let's see here. A ZTE Grand ZTE Grand X Max Plus, okay? I have, and then it's a couple years old, I don't know, three years old, four years, something like that. This thing has dropped out of trucks onto the ground. The screen has never cracked. Never had any problems with it whatsoever, screen-wise. Phone-wise, of course, it's issues, but screen-wise, no problems whatsoever, okay? Decide I'm going to treat myself to a new phone on payments, mind you. And it's a phone called, uh, it's Lumina. No, Luna. I'm sorry, Luna. By HG and company signed. I don't know. This phone was actually on back order because it's a, uh, I don't know, it's, I guess it's in big demand because the back of it, so it's one of those phones that the SIM card and everything's in turn, like your turtle, you have that little stupid tray, which I can't stand those because they're stupid little plastic things that break, but that's besides the point. That's a totally different rant. Anyhow, um, the back of it's like aluminum or titanium or some crap like that, or alien, I don't know. You know, so that, that doesn't crack and break. I have this phone, not very long. The thing slipped out of my pocket while I was in the car, getting out of the car, and slipped and dropped the, I don't know, what could that be? Three inches? Maybe. It slipped and fell. Completely, completely shattered the screen. So bad that a piece of glass from the, way over the camera actually popped out. Imagine that. Like a, a light casual fall and, and that happened. What garbage? Next rant. Then my LG phone. 
I have an L. I, there was an LG phone I had that was nice. That's right. No, and same Thanks. similar type of thing. Cracked to pieces. Thanks. This is why they need to get rid of Gorilla Glass because it's a marketing gimmick. It doesn't work for crap. You know, stop making glass all over everything. That's the other funny thing about the ZTE phone. The back of the ZTE phone, it's glass. Perfectly fine, even though it's dropped. Pieces of garbage. Okay, that's what they are. That's Pieces right of garbage. Oh, now we're doing it as a rant challenge? Well, you know, how about I end this rant for now? That, my friends, is all I have to say about this one.